I'm locked up, they won't let me out, they won't let me out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a story time slash get ready with me. And yeah, I just woke up. It's like currently like 11 o'clock right now. So I'm about to do my makeup and tell y'all a story time. Um, this this story time is gonna be about the time that sorry my voice is like out of there, but this story time is gonna be about the time I went to jail. Um, today is currently Tuesday, um, and I went to jail like this past weekend. So let's get right into what happened or whatever. Um, I'm not going to talk about the products that I'm using because I am still using the same products. I do plan on getting new products pretty soon. I think I'm going to go ahead and just get MAC makeup because it's winter time and MAC makeup is good for the winter time or whatever. Okay, so here's my story time. Okay, guys. I, um... Like I said, I went to jail this past weekend, right? And like real life. Okay, let me just start from the beginning. Okay, so me and this is right here because I've been licking my lips like crazy, guys. Okay, hopefully I don't do this this winter because then my lips are really gonna look jacked up. Okay. So, this is how it all started. So, I was at my friend's house, and we were drinking, and we were playing dominoes, and at first, I was drinking red wine. I was drinking some red wine. I didn't think we were going to go out. You know, we were just chilling. We are playing dominoes, listening to music, and he had already bought him a bottle of some type of brown liquor, some type of cognac or something like that. And so I was at the last bit of my wine or whatever. So I, you know, I went ahead and got me another cup or whatever. So he was like, okay, you wanna go to the Sky Bar? Now the Sky Bar, I live in Beaumont, Texas. So Sky Bar is not in Beaumont. Sky Bar is like in like Nederland or like outside of Beaumont basically, next to the courthouse, right? So, I was like, I didn't know we were gonna go out, you know. I was like, cool, whatever. Cause I already had got my, I already had did my makeup that day. Like I was seriously on some chill stuff, but you know, I just wanted to look cute or whatever. And by the way, I got my lashes going. They look cute or whatever. Let me feel like my lashes, guys. Comment below if you like my lashes. I got off from this girl, this girl, and her name is Mallory. She did my lashes. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. I don't know if she wants me to link her YouTube channel, but yeah, like she did my lashes in there. Okay, you. Anyway, so, so yeah, so we go to the skyboard, right? We got this, first of all, this nigga is on the phone, first of all, okay? He's always on the phone. So, I wasn't really tripping or whatever, but I was like, okay, if we're going to be at the Sky Bar, like, get off the phone. So, I go to the restroom. He's still on the phone. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, we get a hookah. I get, like, some wings. By the way, their wings are good. Their buffalo wings are good. Um, the first drink I get is a Tangeray with tonic. So, it's gin. So, now, now I didn't make three liquors right so okay so i get a tangeray and we get a hookah and so by then i'm kind of like hungry or whatever so i'm just like okay like i'm hungry you know so i get some wings i get like a six wings with some ranch some boneless wings okay so i'm smoking on the hookah he's still on the phone i'm like what the heck you know, I look stupid because I'm just sitting here in the corner listening to music, you know, bobbing to the music while having my 
my drink or my hookah or whatever. I mean, it's not a good setup, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, dude, I want to talk, you know, or I want to like sing a song with you or something like that. So I take the phone from him and he's talking to his cousin and I'm like, hey, we're kind of like out. Can you talk to him later? He catches an attitude. Not the guy that I'm with, like the dude on the phone. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like y'all are weird. Like this is weird or whatever. So, that was like the first issue or something like that. So, since he stays on the phone, I eat on Instagram Live. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll link it below. Follow me on Instagram. But, so, I eat on Instagram Live. So, I'm just like chilling or whatever, you know, like, you know, whatever. So, I start calling people, you know, just saying, hey, you know, whatever. You know, I'm on Twitter. I was like, I'm at the Hoopoo Lounge. Follow me on Twitter if you don't follow me on Twitter. And I'm like, hey, I'm at Skybox. Not Skybox. Um, I'm at Skybar with a hookah, you know. Yeah. So that happened. And then, so then, so we're chilling. He finally gets off the phone. I finally get off Instagram Live, whatever. So we're, we're like talking, we're singing the songs and stuff like that. And so, Normally, this guy gets on my nerves sometimes because we're the same zodiac sign, and I've never really hung out with somebody that has the same zodiac sign as me. So, if you're my friend or you hang out with me, I apologize in advance for my personality because <laughs> I can be quite annoying and awkward and weird. So, yeah. So, I'm dealing with this, <laughs> this other Aquarius guy. And so, uh, I see somebody walks in, somebody walks in that I know, and it was this guy that I know. I didn't, I haven't known him, but I knew him from like a long time ago. I like, I met him at uh, Luke's Ice House, and I was just like, like I know him, but I can't see because I need glasses. So I, really, I was, I was like looking. I was like, I was looking over. I was like, you know, whatever. And so he was getting jealous or whatever. I'm like, nigga, you was on the phone the entire time. But, whatever. Anyway. So, by the time the dude walks in, like, we've probably been there maybe like an hour or two or something like that. So, I'm like, okay. So, once I started seeing, like, who is this guy? Because I'm pretty lit. And I ordered, okay, by then now, I didn't order a Long Island iced tea, right? And another thing of wings right so he started getting jealous or whatever and so he was like I'm about to go and I was just like uh I still have my drink let me finish my drink and then we can go he was like no I'm ready to go right now I'm like nigga I can't just take the drink out and stuff like that I was like gosh I was like well we didn't go you know so I'm thinking he gonna be outside I finished my drink I finished my drink and I go outside. This nigga didn't left me. The nigga didn't left. I checked the parking lot because I know where we parked. The nigga left. The nigga left me, guys. So I'm just like, really, dude? Like, you really have, like, issues or whatever. Seriously. So... I can't wait till I get my mask makeup. My feet is gonna be my feet. <laughs> my face is gonna be beat for the winter time. Okay, so yeah, so I go outside. He's not there, and I guess the guy was watching like the whole entire time because it's not hard for us. Like, like I always get like attention or something like that. Like I attract light because I am like you know. So when. I go back inside and it was like, that nigga really left you? I said, that nigga left you, huh? Or something like, that's what that guy said. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm drunk. I'm like, yeah, uh, bitch ass nigga, you know, whatever. So, I go back inside, I'm chilling. I go to the bar and I'll order me another drink. Cause I had some money on me, he had clothes out the tab or whatever. So, 
I had some money on me, so I went ahead and ordered me another drink. I was like, well, shit, I'm about to really get fucked up, shit. Well, really, I should have just called her Uber or called him. No, I did call him. I called him, and I was like, what? I was like, where did you go? He was like, I told you I was leaving, dude. I was like, how the hell do you leave me? Like, if we come together, we go together. Like, you, that's like the rule. Like, and especially because I'm a female, like, I'm not a female, but I'm a woman. Like, come on now. And we've been hanging out for like a couple months now, so. Like, are you stupid or are you dumb? You know? So. So. At this point, I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. So, I, take, I, I get a drink, you know, I'm vlogging on my camera. I end up talking to the guy that I end up knowing. He was like, yeah, I remember you. He was like, what's a white girl or whatever? Which figures, because I met him at Luke's, you know? So, um, so yeah, so I'm at the bar. I'm just like, dude, my phone dies. That's what happens. My phone dies, so I, I, I was like, can I put my charger, you know, they was like, yeah, 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 whatever, I was like, cool, so, while my phone is charging, I'm vlogging on my, uh, my camera, not my, uh, phone camera, I have, like, a, a, another camera, or whatever, not a phone, you know, just, like, a real camera, and so, I started vlogging on my camera, by the way, I have a whole bunch of vlogs on the camera, I just don't know how to connect it, I need to connect it to a computer that has an editing software because I can't upload no video without it being edit or whatever. At least none of the videos that's on there, they need to be edited in some type of way or fashion. So, I'm, I end up meeting this guy at the bar and he's like super cool, you know, he's like, I'll take you home or whatever. For some reason, I didn't get any bad vibes, so I was like, cool, you know, whatever. And he takes me to the apartment or where he's at. Now by then, I'm lit. I'm so freaking lit. Like, I'm coherent about everything, but it, you know, I'm just saying some extra stuff, like I'm talking shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm the best. They don't know who the fuck I am, you know, that type of stuff. So, he brings me to the apartment. So now, I didn't exit the car, right? I have all my belongings, <laughs> and I exit the car. So I'm going up the stairs, but then I see like a group of Hispanic people on the top of the next stair. So I go up there. So I'm just like, no, I don't remember what I was saying, but I doubt if I was really like being mean because I'm not that confrontational. <laughs> so I go up to the stairs. I'm not even halfway up the stairs. There's probably like 10 people up there one of the one of the females she pepper sprayed me when I say I've never been pepper sprayed in my life when that girl pepper sprayed me I was shook it I was so shook she pepper sprayed me I'm like what I can't even open my eyes but I find my way to the other stairs and I go up to the door and I'm beating on the door I'm like open the door so he opens her, he was like, what the, you know, what's that smell? I was like, I just got pepper spray. So I go straight into the shower. I still have my clothes on. I go straight into the shower. I'm like going through this really fast because I really need to get to the point. I get, I get pepper sprayed. <clears throat> I get pepper sprayed and I go straight to the shower. So I go straight into the shower and I still have my clothes on and I'm like beating on the, the shower like I'm like do you know you don't know who I am you know I'm still like saying that stuff I'm like you don't know who I am you know who do who I was like call the cops call the cops so I tell my friend to call the cops so he was like okay so he calls the cops so while I'm in the shower one of the cop there was a cop lady she comes to the uh she says well she needs to get out the shower because all the um all the shower doing is activating it. It's not really making it go on away. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that or whatever. So I get out the shower. I, I'm still, it's, I still feel like the burning or whatever. And I'm just like, dude, I really can't believe I got pepper spray. My eyes are probably bloodshot red. I didn't, I hadn't had time to really just look in the mirror and just like get myself together because the cops here. So I'm like, okay. 
I put on I put on like a regular little maxi dress that I had or whatever and I uh and that's it and so I'm talking to her I don't remember what I said but I think she was just like you need to you need to leave and I was like why do I need to leave she was like you just need to leave we need to call your dad I'm like dude I'm 22 why do you need to call my dad now mind you, I'm intoxicated and I just got pepper spray. Give me a break. Can you please let me calm down? Can you please work with me? Like, nah, none of that. Long story short, um, she said I was resisting arrest. Um, I ended up going to jail. So I'm in booking, right? I'm in booking. I'm in booking and I'm like, dude, call my dad just call my dad now when okay so when my dad when my dad my dad was there when I got in the car, car right so but when I get in booking I'm like dude just call my dad like what needs to be done in order for me to get up out of here because I'm not spending the night in no jail you know like it's not gonna happen so I'm like freaking out. One of the guys said, "Hey, my dad names is whenever." I'm like, "Uh, yeah. Can you call my dad? Like, I'm not spending the night in jail. They already had me, and they already had me change clothes, take off all my jewelry, and stuff like that." And I'm just like, "Dude, what's going on? Like, is this a prank? Like, I really can't be going to jail right now because I called you, and how I call the cops? How I call the cops, and I end up going to jail? How did it work?" But, so that's what happened. So, yeah. So, I'm just like, okay. Um, I started freaking out, I started crying. And then at some point, I was just like, you know what? That was, I ended up talking to my dad while I was in the jail. He was like, can't do nothing. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Cause you're gonna have to go see a judge and he's gonna say whether or not you know what's going on your bill your bill is set at a thousand dollars i'm like what like this is serious so my bill was set at a thousand dollars or whatever so i at that point i was just like don't talk to me. I was in the I was in the holding cell. I was just like, don't talk to me, bro. Like, just don't talk to me. Like, I don't give a damn about what y'all are talking about. It was women, of course. I'm like, dude, I don't even like women like that. You know, like, stop talking to me. Y'all are messy. Y'all talking about everybody. Y'all run into the screen every single time a cute boy comes by, or even men at that just come by and trying to make them look cute or something like that. I'm just like, I'm over it. And I just want to go home. So, finally, they get me checked in or whatever, so I have to go to population. <sighs> Dude, I did not want to be there so bad. Like, I really didn't. I did not. Um, they wouldn't give me a towel. Um, I kept asking for a towel because I wanted to take a shower. They was like, uh, wait till the next shift change. I kept asking the next shift change. It was like, wait till the next shift change. I'm like, dude, what the heck is going on? Like, let me take a shower. I was just pepper sprayed. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You know, but I'm just like, I was just like, oh, okay. You know, whatever. People were trying to talk to me. They were like, your lashes are cute. I was like, don't talk to me, bro. I'm not here to make any friends. And I really don't really care for small talk right now. So. Sorry. I have to get that one right. So. That happens, right? And. By the way, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I use this one to outline, and then I'm gonna use my NYX Liquid Eyeliner to like go over it or whatever. So,
I don't eat any other food. I couldn't take a shower. I was, um, I was pretty much sleeping the whole entire time that I was in there. Uh, the lady wasn't that mean. Well, some of the ladies wasn't mean. There was probably like three different ladies that had like shift change or something like that. The ladies wasn't that mean or whatever, but I still wasn't like feeling talking to them at all or whatever. Um, yeah, so I kept going to the bathroom, you know, I was drinking faucet water because I was like hella dehydrated because I was drunk. I ended up going to sleep. I'm just, I was just over it. So I was like, I was like, well, can I call somebody? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, the fact that these people in jail do not give a damn about you, you would literally have to fit for yourself. Like, if I didn't ask for a phone call, I never would have gotten a phone call. You know? And they had a phone in there. So. Oh, let me, let me line this real quick. So I gotta fix my lashes, but yeah. So I didn't eat any food. I didn't. I didn't drink any water. I mean, I drank some water from the faucet. Um, that's pretty much it. So I finally called my dad. I called my dad twice. He did not answer. I was freaking out. I was like, this nigga didn't left me in jail. Like, I need to learn my lesson about drinking and something like that. I don't know. Like that's what I was thinking. So I go back to my, I feel bad. Cause you know, when you, when you ask them for a phone call, you, they know you knew, you know? And she was like, I don't know. She was like, I don't know. Let one of them explain you. I don't know nothing about that. I'm like, dude, you work here. How the hell you don't know about anything? Like I said, they do not care. So, so that happened. And so that one of the, the inmates were nice to me. They didn't really like mess with me or anything like that. They was like real nice to me. Um, so, okay. So once I made the phone call, he didn't answer. I was like, oh my God, he's leaving me in here. By then, this today's like Saturday, right? Cause we went to the club Friday. So it's Saturday and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna leave me here over the weekend because you know, probably nobody's gonna gonna see me on a on a Sunday and stuff like that so I'm just like oh my god like what's about to happen or whatever so girl so now I'm just like I go to my bunk I'm like god if please let me out of here if you let me out here I promise I'll watch I won't be like I'll watch how I drink and stuff from next from now on because at first I was drinking and I was like drinking like every other day you know like I was just chilling like cause the dude I with he drinks like a lot or whatever you know niggas that work at the plant they usually like drink a lot or whatever so not the plant but you know them guy jobs or whatever so So, yeah, so I was just like, okay, God, if you get me out of here, like, I'll watch my drinking and, you know, stuff like that. So, five minutes later, the lady was like, Simon, you built, you bonded out, you know, you can go. I was like, shit, I could not move any faster. There were people like, you got a towel? I was like, nigga, no, I ain't got no towel. You know, they trying to like. You know, they got people that actually live in there, bro. And I was just like thinking a lot while I was like sleeping, trying to fall asleep. And I was like, damn, I knew somebody that went to jail. And I was just like, I kind of feel bad for that person because it was like, that dude had to stay in there like probably like a month and a half or maybe longer than that. And I was just like being mean to him and stuff like that. Oh, whatever. But anyway, that's not neither here nor there. And, um, yeah, so So yeah. So Oh let me go get my tea. Hold on. I have some tea on the stove. I go get my tea. Cause you're very hungry too. Alright. 
so warm. By the way, it's raining today. Like, I like the rain though. That's cute or whatever. Okay, so, so yeah, so I was like, five minutes later, they called me, right? I rush, you know, I try to get out of there. The lady was like, the lady that wouldn't tell me about my phone or anything like that, or even give me a towel. She was like, don't come back here, man. You know how they be like, don't come back here. Like, they your mama and me. Like, but I was like, yes, ma'am, because I didn't care at that point. So, I was rushing to get out, guys. So, I got out, right? My dad was there. My dad and his friend was there. I was like, why is he down here? Not in a bad way. I just didn't understand what he was doing. So, then... So we go to the bonds place or whatever, you know, get bonded and they tell me what I need to pay, you know, all that type of stuff or whatever. So that's what happened, guys. Third time I went to jail, guys. I ain't eating no food. Cause I was like, even if I stuck, if even if I'm stuck there, guys, like even if I'm stuck there, like I don't even deserve to eat. <laughs> I was like, girl, you didn't got yourself in jail. You about to fast for real, for real. Like, for real. I planned on fasting. And everything. Because I was like, you really got yourself in trouble this time. Like, no. Just bad. So, that's what happened, guys. Um, I owe like 200 left on my bond. My bond was set at a thousand. I don't know how my daddy got it down to, um, me just paying a hundred, $200, but, <coughs> excuse me, God, thank God, because he was looking out for me, honey. He was, because my dad was like, people get raped in there and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I know. He was like, don't drink the Kool-Aid, you shouldn't do I'm like, nigga, I ain't never going back. You know, when we talk afterwards, he was like, don't drink the Kool-Aid. I said, I ain't going back. I'm going to be a good Samaritan. Mm-mm. I'm going to learn my lesson. See, I'm 22, guys. Once you hit that 20, 21 mark, of course, you start drinking, you know, Woof -de -woof. This is a lesson learned, honey. The laws don't play. Okay? This still got law enforcement in it. Just because you're getting older does not mean that you are prohibited from going to jail for public intoxication or whatever. And I find out my sister is in jail. I'm like, dude, she's been in jail since July. So yeah, that's the story time I went to jail, guys. Never going back, guys. I'm never going back to jail. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking and driving. I mean, I am drinking. I'm still going to drink, but... I'm not gonna drink and drive. I'm not gonna roll with open containers in the car. Like, I'm good. And if it's that serious, then we need to just stay home. You know? I call the Uber, guys. Uber is in Beaumont. I call the Uber. Like, don't even risk it. Don't do it, because you will go to jail and you will have to go through all of that stuff in jail that we forget about. You know, until we actually in that situation and we just really be like, wow, like, just don't do it. Like, when people would say, just don't do it, I, you'd be like, oh, you good, girl. You be good until it happened to you. Then you got to pay all these 
all this money or whatever it's just not even worth it guys like if you don't go drink i'm not saying don't go drink if you're gonna go drink cool go drink just make sure you don't drink and drive because you don't want your car having to be towed. If you was drinking and driving and you did get pulled over and in your car, you're going to have to go pay your car to get, get bonded out out of uh, towing or whatever. You know? That's if you don't have anybody to pick up the phone call whatever time you're drinking at night. You know what I'm saying? Just call an Uber. And if you don't have enough money for an Uber... Baby, you shouldn't be outside. You shouldn't be drinking. Like, if you really need a drink that bad, and you ain't got enough for Uber, you better get you one of them wine coolers from the uh, Korean store and bring your butt home. Okay. Facts. Because any other option is, is just too dangerous, guys. You gonna smell like liquor, you gonna it's just do with like you smell like vodka. He was like I was on in. I was like, I've been drinking. <laughs> Girl yes. Ridiculous. Just doesn't make any sense. My teeth are getting yellow. You probably can't tell right now, but I can tell. They get a little yellow. I have this bring light right here, so uh, they get intense at yellow. So yeah, boo. Oh, man, I'm gonna just wear some Carmax today. I was licking my lips hard at the new bit. My lips were so dry. I had my fro. My lips are dark. So yeah, that's the time I uh I went to jail or what else? I think I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm just doing like a slight little something something. My eyebrows look weird. Where's my corner? Find it. I'm just put some black on the I'm being serious, y'all. Don't be drinking, girl. If you haven't drinking, just call it Uber, girl. And don't talk to nobody while you drink out. <laughs> and don't call the cops, <laughs> even though you got pepper sprayed. I mean, just don't do none of that. <laughs> like, seriously, because, like, you have to think clearly. And if you get yourself into some trouble, like, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, that's so messed up. I, don't, I can't even say, like, oh, call the cops. Like, girl, I just don't know what to tell you. Because you just don't want to be in jail. Like I said, I called the cops. Because I got pepper spray. Even though I didn't drive. You know, I didn't drive or anything like that. It's like, nah, honey. Doesn't matter. And I just like, I, I, I don't want to talk crap on the cops because the reason why I went to jail was for resisting arrest, you know? But I wasn't like physical or anything like that. I don't remember. Just whatever. Hopefully I don't have to go back to jail. Hopefully I don't have to pay for any other court fees or something like that. Uh, Just finishing up my makeup real quick. <sighs> Guys, I 
I've been like a different person since. Like I didn't change. I got a lot of books. Like girl, I just been like, I don't talk to me. <laughs> Smudged. Oh. And one of the, even one of the um, amp, the officers was looking at me crazy. Not like crazy, just like, I'm like, boy, boy. Like, can you imagine if I stayed in there? I probably would have raped. God forbid, but that would have been a lawsuit. For real, for real. All right, what I even got, they probably would have hit it. See? Just don't go to jail, guys. I got people dying in jail for real, for real. Saying that they attempted suicide. I'm not gonna lie though. If I if I was in that situation and I got raped, I would just I would just let it happen. Cause I am not trying to die. And I'll be like, I'm not gonna snitch. Cause it's like crazy that you think like that, but that's like the truth because it's like, like people are like literally like losing their life out here. You know, it's just, you think the police are like here to protect you, which they are, but and make sure you stay on the right track, but it's like, anything that has to do with what the situation is, it's like, are you really even handling the situation? Or are you feeding your own ego? Excuse me. It's just scary. And you think it's like, oh, is it just in my area? No, it's like all around the world. Like, it's like, it's whatever's going on right now. That's sad. That's really sad. But hey, welcome to America. All right, I think I'm done with my makeup. This concludes my story time on when I went to jail and get ready with me. If you like this video, please thumbs up this video. And um, if you'd like to see any other kind of videos coming up, then make sure you leave a comment below so I can be able to push that out for y'all guys. And um, what else? Um, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.